Sam, why are you using this light when you could have natural daylight right now? <laughs> Easy, simple, lazy. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am oily AF. Very, very excited because I'm giving you another haul. I haven't done a haul on haul in a really long time. Obviously, it's been probably about a month since I've done a haul like this, but I would just like to disclaim. Here we go. Shopping Addict's going to disclaim why she bought things. More so clothes is because I have some exciting news for you guys. If you haven't seen the vlog already. I got a new job and I'm very excited about it and it is more of a big girl job so I have to wear more big girl clothes and that's really weird for me to say because I've literally been wearing hoodies and leggings and sneakers to work for like the last three years. And before this I did have to wear like nicer clothes to like my older older job. It's a big deal because I've just been like wanting this for so long and I did it and I spent a lot of money a lot more than I normally do and I'm like a little like freaked about it. So with that being said Let's just get right into this. I went to Target and I went to TJ Maxx with my mom this morning. Let's just get right into it. Yes, the nails are back for now. We'll see how long it lasts. I miss being that girl and nail clapping from Target. I feel like I didn't really get that much because I did get some things I needed for work. I don't know if they restocked their Stony Clover stuff or came out with more stuff or people returned it. I don't know. I ended up getting the Stony Clover Lane cosmetic brush set. I have been cleaning out my brushes. As you guys know, I have brushes from like 2012, 2013 that are like not it. Three little eye brushes and two face brushes and it comes with a little brush case too, which I think is really, really adorable. They do that. That is all. Absolutely adorable. Had to get those. I ended up getting a pack of these earrings because now I realize this was kind of a dumb purchase because I think I already have earrings like this. I got a pack of these because I thought I lost both of my Kate Spade studs, which I'm not wearing right now, but they are in my purse because I thought I lost one. I ended up getting these a backup. They're just big studs that I like to wear. So I got some of those. Not very exciting. A couple pairs of work pants. These are like jogger type pants. They were $30, which like by like olive green color which I really like and I like that the bottoms tapered. I have to be business casual but not completely don't wear really nice stuff though because you're still working with children. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I, hopefully some of the stuff I bought kind of fits that criteria and then I got this green color which I know is going to get dirty. I don't need any of y'all to say in the comments. I ended up getting these. These are in a size 16 just in case 14 wasn't going to fit so I just got 16. So I went to TJ Maxx and I finally bought one of these giant reusable bags which I think was a good idea. It has all of these astrology on there. We're Scorpio. That's the one that matters right here. She's here, queen. Libra, we can just... No offense if you're a Libra. Just you know my history. <laughs> a whopping amount of money. I'm not really happy about it. I did get some exciting things, so I will show you guys those last, but I did browse the clearance section. First shirt I got on clearance was... That explains why. I didn't think this was $24. I thought this was like $20, but this was $25 on clearance. It's this really pretty blue shirt that I could wear with like a skirt or something. I do need to get like some more solid like pieces as far as stuff. I do have some like shirts that are already kind of like casual, like business casual that I can wear. I'm definitely gonna have to He's <laughs> like all into that shirt. This is not for work. This I bought on my own because I just thought it was really cute. This really adorable like crop top and it has flowers on there and little lace. I think it's just scrunched but I thought it was really cute. So I got this. This was like a random buy. This shirt on clearance, this was 16 on clearance. Okay, so I wasn't like completely out of the loop there. Oh, this is by Lucky Brand actually. Actually pretty cute that I could just like throw on and wear like with a cami underneath or something. I got this shirt, which I'm really excited about. And this was $12. So this is like, I think the cheapest thing that I got. And it's really cute. I really like the high neck and it'll be nice and breathable for the summertime. I ended up getting this button down shirt because I thought this was like really pretty. And it was like a moment. This is by Jane and Delancey. I don't know how to say that. And this was 16 on clearance button down shirt, but I'm gonna try and like, you know, like wear it like a blouse and be a little like cutesy with it. Like I can see a moment. And then I grabbed three skirts. Like I literally just grab them like one after another i didn't even look at the price i was like oh it's a skirt we're getting it oh it's a skirt we're getting it because i'm probably gonna have to wear skirts but obviously if some of the stuff doesn't fit i'm gonna bring it back it has oh it has a zipper okay we'll have to see but i got this skirt they're all kind of the same style which i like they're all just kind of like frillied a little bit at the bottom but it's still cute the back has like a little scrunch moment so i don't know about that i didn't see that <laughs> blue one i think these are all around like the same style this one's just like a full-on just stretchy skirt which i thought would be really pretty wear with 
flats or sandals. I don't know if I can wear sandals. I'll have to ask. But I know there's a lot of places that are at least like in childcare, daycares that do not allow you to wear open toed shoes because of like hazards and stuff like that. So I'll have to ask. But I do have like some sandals. I just don't know if I can wear them. And then I also got this skirt. This is also by, I think they're all by Max Studio. This one was really cute. This one is kind of like the same vibe as the other ones just like something like really at the bottom and i know they're all patterned like i said i do want to get solid pieces but this was just to start off with a jogger that is in an extra large i thought it was really cute same as those olive green ones so i guess i'm wearing a lot of green very cute has like pockets the material seems nice so i got those and then these i think this, this is one of the ones that's like set me over the edge as far as like expense i think this these were 30 dollars. these are Michael Kors brand dress pants or like casual pants, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what they're super skinny pull on. It doesn't high rise. I don't know. Black pants basically and they go skinny at the bottom. I really feel like if I'm going to be business casual, I want everything tapered at my ankles. I don't care just because that's just what I like and I don't like clothes that make me look bigger than I am and I know that being business casual is about having like a little bit more looser fitting clothes like obviously I can't wear leggings and crop tops for starting out that's what I got <laughs> for business casual clothes because I actually donated a lot of my old stuff when I worked on my old old job because there's just a lot of bad memories and a lot of bad things or they didn't fit and I was just over it so moving on to the fun stuff so the rest of the things I ended up getting these have been going viral on TikTok I've been wanting to find them I wish I found them in pink blush or a deep plum or gray or something. They only had them in blue. So I got the Steve Madden <laughs> Maxima sneakers. They are in an eight and a half and they do fit because I did try them on and they were 50 bucks because I was about to spend a hundred on Amazon. I'm happy with these. I'm very excited about them and you bet your I will be wearing these on dress down days at work in general because they seem really comfortable too. So I'm really excited. I like the grippy bottoms. So excited to find those because they have a Juicy Couture pair that's kind of like a knockoff of the Steve Madden ones, but they're like puke yellow brown color, like nude. Like not like a nice nude. They're like a bleh nude and I'm like, mm. No, no, can't do it. The rest of the random things that I did not need, I found this makeup bag in the kids section. Yes, I know. I don't need any more makeup bags. I thought she was so cute. She is like Stony Clover Lane vibes, just says makeup, very cute. And I am super excited about it. She was only 10 bucks. Okay, like 10 bucks. I, I'd rather spend that than 30. So that's fine with me. Uh -huh. As I already spent $30 on a makeup bag, but let's not talk about that. Another one of these AMNH skincare uh, birthday cake body butters. I don't know why I always have to like buy one of these and I hope it's not open. Oh, thank you, Lord. Cause the last one, you guys know the last haul, it was open and someone touched it and it was a great time. Then I also got one of these candles, which I own mainly the packaging. And I've been kind of wanting one of these for a while, but this one is strawberry limeade. Oh, perfect for summertime. Very excited about her. She was 12. $12.99? What? what is up with me not looking at prices? This is what happens when I don't go shopping for a long time and then I just like go crazy. But mostly work stuff. The work stuff was the most important. Everything else, not so much. I know. I know. I hear you. I hear you. A couple things I ended up getting were these Creme Shop Hello Kitty Celebrate Me Time Youth Promoting Printed Essence Sheet Mask, which these are the ones I originally wanted and I did not buy them last time I went. So I got them this time. I think I've had these before actually. I can't remember in the past. Someone correct me, but it makes your face, I think, look like Hello Kitty. I think. I'm not sure. I know I had like a couple masks that made my face look like Hello Kitty and David thought it was hilarious. I'm not sure if these are the same ones, but I'm all for it because collagen and cucumber and white tea, chef's kiss. And then finally, the last thing I found, <sighs> most of you guys know, this was $20. Okay, see, like I'm not looking at prices. I should not have even. Having a couple of these bronzers, my subbies know, I love Marc Jacobs, like the bronzers, the lipsticks. I love Marc Jacobs as a beauty brand. It's unfortunate. I think they're not a beauty brand anymore. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. From what I heard, they're discontinuing their beauty line. So I was like devastated. This is one of my favorites ever. And I did throw them away because they were really expired. This one is the Omega Bronze Perf Coconut Perfect Tan and Tantastic. So I got a new one and I'm fine with that. And it looks like someone watched it, of course. 
whatever. Oh, it smells like coconut. You know what? Whatever. We'll clean it. We'll sanitize it with some alcohol. It'll be fine. I really don't care at this point. Before discovering that, I just kind of picked it up. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And it was the only one there. So, and every time I find these at TJ Maxx now, it's usually like the blush, highlight, and bronze. And I don't want that. I just want the bronze. Very excited for this. Very, oh my gosh, I can't. Because I do not need any more makeup. I really don't. And I always like browse the makeup section now. And I'm kind of like, Eh, nothing really really excites me anymore as far as makeup if that makes sense like I'm just very like into like the stuff that I like and that's it that being said that is everything that I got from Target and TJ Maxx today hope you guys enjoyed it I am definitely 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 <laughs> definitely going to not buy anything for a very long time now this was kind of like built up like this last like month because like i see so many tiktoks of girls going to tj maxx going to target going here going there and like yes i have been if you've been watching my vlogs and stuff i have like been getting some things here and there but i haven't been like going crazy because obviously like I plan for all of this to happen, essentially. I felt comfortable doing it now, but now I'm kind of like, oh my gosh, why did I do this? <laughs> because I'm like, oh my God, I spent so much money. But it's okay, it's fine. I love you guys so much. Hope you have an awesome day. Subscribe if you wanna see more of me. Like this video if you enjoyed. Turn on bell post notifications to know when the f I post a new video, which is usually every Wednesday and Friday, unless I say otherwise, because sometimes, you know, I suck. <sighs> I got two more weeks off and then I go back to work, but I have a new job, so I'm very excited. I am really excited for this next chapter in my life and I just have to say I'm proud of myself. I do. I ha really have to say that because I was really like in a dark place. Like, oh gosh, did I do the right thing? I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.